Yo, but I wanted to show you the scene. This is so cool. कभी चलता नहीं गोल्ड मेडल एफ आर वायर जो ना हाथ पकड़े ना धुआं फैलने दे है ना अमेजिंग ओके एंड जोन Hey, I'm back after watching Avatar: The Way of the Water. You know what? Let's let's break it down from the uh, from the top. Story-wise, there's not much of a story. Uh, main character, his family goes to a different place. The Way of Water. Like I forgot what the title of the movie was. Only when they went, uh, when they reached to that uh, watery place, you know, watery place. Then I thought, oh wait, Avatar: The Way of Water. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> like only then it clicked me. Okay, way of water. That's why we were spending so much of time in the water. And so that the overall story arc is that I felt that the villain's story arc was so much better explored. You know, like the villain in the first part, he dies, but he gets consciousness, and he comes back as an avatar, and he he has a son, and all that is just the villain's uh, transformation and the villain's character arc was so much better made. And okay, story is done. Graphics, of course, we have to talk about the graphics. Avatar One, when it came out, uh, that was revolutionary for the 3D. Uh, everybody rem remembers that. Like, okay, it was 3D movie. Whoa, 3D. And James Cameron is known for inventing new technologies just to make the movie. Terminator One. If you uh, rewatch Terminator One, 1980s, 70s. Like uh, the last scene where the CGI, the CGI Terminator, like that was revolutionary for that time. Terminator 2, look how advanced that was for that time again. And uh, what's the other one? Titanic. Again, like, Titanic, such a you know, big ship sinking. Whoa! Did, like James Cameron really pushes envelopes, man. It, he really does. Uh, it's also Alien, you know, Alien, the movie. Uh, the 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 Alien, the you know, Alien monster, Alien in that movie, like. He really does invent new technologies uh, to incorporate in his movies. So similarly, what he did with Avatar, now he is doing the same thing in the part two. Because right now, the CGI, think about all the movies that we have watched in the last decade. Well, ever since Avatar 1, the number of movies in 3D and the number of movies that use this uh, special effects, it got so much saturated, right? Uh, think of the movies which uh, won awards for visual effects Tenet uh, Dune yeah, yeah, Dune was okay because Dune really looked realistic like of course you know spaceship coming up big sand and all that but it, it, it looked realistic like that's how uh, ahead of the curve you have to be in, in this day and age especially after the Infinity Saga Avengers Infinity War Saga uh, you know you know because uh, Thanos' planet you know, it's so much big things and all that infinity stones and all that. The whole point is that the CGI has gotten so realistic that everything looks real, like most mostly. And in this day and age, to still uh, take us, take us, the audience, into a different world and you know, shows whoa, that is just uh, rare. It really is rare, and that's why Tom Cruise, uh, Top Gun Maverick, Mission Impossible series, it still holds. Uh, people en enjoy watching it because they know that this is real like real real <laughs> you know that is Tom Cruise hanging that is Tom Cruise jumping that that is real real so yeah graphics wise Avatar 2 absolutely amazing and uh, this one the frames per second I was so impressed I didn't know it was shot uh, in 48 frames per second almost 60 and in some places it was 60 frames like we, we as gamers, we have played so much of games, so many games that we can distinguish, right? Oh, that's 60 frames. No, no of course, above 60, we cannot distinguish. Like between 120 and 240 hertz, like, we can distinguish that. But we can clearly uh, see the difference between a 30 and a 60. That is just easy. That is any untrained eye can also uh, notice that. Okay, this, this video is smoother. This video is smoother. Like this camera right now is like 24 frames per second. <laughs> so it's not as smooth. <laughs> I don't I don't have a better camera my, my bad but when you watch the movie it's just so smooth it flows so smooth like I can oh 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 that's 60 frames 60 frames 
<laughs> like my friend, she, he was sitting beside me. He was like, ah, oh, can, can we just stop? I was so impressed. Like, whoa, it's so smooth, so smooth. And almost the entirety of the movie, I kept saying, wow, so smooth, man. <laughs> it's like, in some places, it was like watching a video game trailer. Uh, completely honest. Uh, and yes, the, the irony is that only when the... Uh, aliens and all that stuff is in close range, you know, close range, and they're moving slow. That's when you realize the details, you know, the uh, what they? fingerprints and, and the nails and the teeth and every small, small detail. Wow, that's real. Wow, that's real. But when it's a high flying action, you know, the, the uh, spaceships, military aircraft going on and they're riding the dragons, not dragons, but like, yeah, dragon, let's call them dragons. And then it, it, it smooth. It's really is smooth. And the waterfalls, like all those, it is quite smooth. But you can uh, in some of those fast-paced action, you can distinguish. Okay, this is like a video game. And that's like a video game. Like for me, I played so much of video games, and of course, we have watched so many video game trailers. See, video game trailers, what they do? Cinematic, those cinematic video game trailers. They try to make it as well cinematic as possible. And also, the video game trailer is not at all the same with the real game you you know that you know uh, for those of you who plays games you know that so yeah it was like watching video game trailers all over it was just so smooth it was really quite smooth and you know, what else what else what else what else graphics is done uh of course the post avatar depression there was a new phenomena that i just uh, looked it up and uh, of course some art i've read some articles Yes, it, it is true, uh, true in the sense after watching Avatar for three hour runtime, like we got lost in it. Whoa, what's going to happen next? It's not like that suspense while I think it's like uh, we're exploring the world with, with the characters, you know, oh, we're swimming. Oh, that's a giant whale. Oh, look at these crab things. Oh, we're hunting the whales. Like what's going to happen next? Like. It's not like a detective murder mystery where you know oh, who's this, what's next, what's next. It's not. It's not that suspense. It's more like wow, I want to. I want to know there. I want to go there. I want. I want to be there. Like that. That it. It. It keeps you reeled in. So yeah, after, after the end of three hours of watching this movie, uh, when we came out, like, whew, wow, that was real, huh? That was something else. Uh, you know, <laughs> like it was that. Remember. Uh, Infinity War, no, no, yeah, Infinity War, and at the last scene, last last scene when uh, Thanos snaps everyone and like, oh, 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 no, they're gone, oh no, so th that feeling, imagine that feeling, like you want to know what happens next, right? So and uh, and you really want to uh, be in the shoes of the characters like Captain America, Iron Man, to to see where they go. So it was like that, and of course uh, at the end of uh, whatever. Endgame, Endgame. <laughs> After the end of Endgame, like when you see all these characters uh, through that, uh, that was also a three-hour runtime movie, yeah. So after Infinity War, you know that that sense of uh, kind of relief and also that entire saga has completed. Like wow, that was something. That was one hell of an experience, right? So it was like that. Avatar: The Way of Water will keep you in that flow. Like whoa, I want to go there. Let's go there. Then James Cameron takes you there, actually. And you know, the, yeah, there are slow scenes, obviously, three hour runtime, it's slow scenes. But the entire three hour is like, you're in a different planet, you're actually in different planet. And I remember this one moment uh, in, in the movie while watching, when the human characters pop up, they're like, hey, humans, <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I really felt that uh, I was a part of that uh, Pandora. I was a part of Pandora, and when a human human popped up, like, hey, human, human. <laughs> it's like that is how uh, entrancing that is the world, the world of Pandora. It was just so beautiful. It was very beautiful, and uh, uh, yeah, coming to Pandora also. These movies are supposed to be watched in IMAX, and I just researched how many IMAX theaters are in India. Yes, India, the largest democracy in the world. I'm in India right now. So there are only 22 and, and none of them were on the east side. Like out of those 22, most of them are in the west side because Mumbai obviously is the entertainment city of India. So uh, yeah, Mumbai, Pune, like all the west, in the west coast of India, none in the east, none in the east. So yeah, 
that, that, that was something. Of course, but Avatar, I don't know if there are more IMAX would pop up. Maybe I'll watch it in America, because America has lots of uh, IMAX. And this got me to think that to experience Avatar, you, you have to watch it in a really good theater. I watched it in the most expensive uh, movie theater in the East Coast. Not East Coast, East, East Side. <laughs> East doesn't have a coast, okay. <laughs> I'm in the East India, in the, you know the map of India, the East side, in the entire East Hemisphere of India, there's the most expensive theater was in G City, uh, Guwahati City, Metropolitan, it was uh, Inox Insignia, Inox Insignia, that cost like 570 rupees or something, it was almost, how much, almost 10 dollars, almost 10 dollars of ticket, and yeah, I watched it there, so the experience that I felt was okay, wow, worth it. I would definitely would have loved to watch it in an IMAX theater. Of course, it's uh, not possible for me there. But imagine watching it means I wouldn't know how, how this movie would be in 2D, right? For someone who maybe can't afford it, but they still wanted to watch, they watch it in 2D and the whole experience is like bad, you know? I don't even know if it's in 2D or not. Maybe it's only for 3D. But, but imagine if somebody would only watch it in their TV screen or their uh, laptop screen or something like that. The whole experience is just not there. So this experience or this review that I'm doing is from what I have experienced, you know. And, and of course, most people uh, who have watched it in theaters, they would know what I'm talking about. It depends on the theater, depends on the screen, depends on the sound, the whole thing. And uh, since I could... I was there, means I was there in GCD at that time of release and also uh, I could afford the most expensive <laughs> uh, ticket in the most expensive theater. So I, I watched it there, though that experience was really good. I, I really felt it. If, it. if there was an IMAX theater, would I have gone? Of course I would have gone. Like, that is the whole point. In IMAX 3D, Dolby, what, 5.1, 7.1? The most, the, the best experience possible. And uh, this also brings me to Christopher Nolan movies, like he wants his movies to be watched in IMAX, but sorry sir, <laughs> we don't have IMAX, <laughs> we don't even, we don't have the technology to experience your movies to its fullest, like really, uh, I really wish that I would have watched uh, The Dark Knight uh, and uh, Interstellar, Tenet, I really wish I would have watched it in theaters, forget IMAX, just in theaters, I wish I would have watched those movies in Peters, but it's okay <laughs> with a heavy heart but uh, the way uh, Christopher Nolan sir intends for his movies to be watched really of course I would want to watch it exactly like that but since we don't even have IMAX theaters neither we have the you know good theaters so yeah that's that so okay so Avatar Way of Water like really I wish for everyone who could watch it you know, regardless of, you know, of course, the better theater it is, the more enhanced your experience is. But it's not like you wouldn't have fun anyways, you know. Take, take out a uh, bunch of your friends, go to any theater, you know, just watch it. Oh, wow. And just do commentary, just like I was doing commentary. It was, it was really fun. Really fun. So I think that was all I had to say for Avatar. Did you like my reaction video to the movie that I watched? And, you know, I'll see you next time. See ya, bye-bye. I do watch Avatar, like great, great movie, great movie. Avatar, I don't know about 3, 4, but Avatar 5, the last Avatar, I would most definitely watch it in IMAX. I, I don't care if you have to fly to a different city, different country, I don't care. But Avatar 5, the last one, I would watch it in IMAX. IMAX 3D, the best. Thank you so much for watching. Check out all these drawings. I love you all. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.